Yo, what is going on, YouTube? How are you guys doing? We are in for a doozy of an episode, so make sure to stay tuned. First thing first, we just need to get some levels and finally evolve Corvus Squire. It has been a long time waiting. 5% um, extra damage? Miss out on a signature move? I don't think so. So, anyways, let's cue that intro. I will be right back, guys. Did I And we are back, and wow, he grew quite a few levels. I don't really know what level he evolved at, but I just really wanted him to finally evolve. We've had him for quite a while, and he's one of our better Pokemon on our roster. So I just figured he kind of deserved it. And now he'll be even stronger. Steel Wing, this is kind of perfect. Um, reversal's alright, but, you know, I don't, I've never really used it um, to its advantage. And Steel Wing is Steel, which I believe is super effective to Fairy. So, anyways... The team is looking really good, and I just noticed that Flapple was super close to leveling up. Um, and again, he's close to le leveling up again. I didn't know how much those would give him. Alright, we can't really get lucky. Iron defense? No thank you. Um, yeah, that's should be good enough. Um... Just want the team a little bit stronger. And then I know that Lanoon evolves at 35. So we'll just have to wait till it's nighttime. I don't really like changing the clock. Um, and I probably shouldn't have gotten him up to 39. I don't know. He's still kind of terrible. But we might evolve him off camera. Sometimes I play this... Um, for like max raid battles or whatever kind of off camera so i might do that and just try to level them up if not then we'll just have to eventually play this game at night and just kind of hope for the best so anyways we're going into the next gym and we're kind of flying through it i don't know if the game um did this intentionally but the first gym and the second gym took so long to get to. Um, but then right after the second, we kind of went right into the third. Um, and then the fourth was, I want to say, maybe two episodes, maybe three episodes ago. I don't really know. Last episode, we kind of just messed around a little bit. And we probably could have fought Opal. But... You know, I just decided to wait. Figured it would be better for you guys um, if we just did it kind of right at the beginning. So, here we are. If you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to subscribe. We got a few other things going on on the channel. Just real quick, shout it out. Um, Luigi's Mansion is kind of in full swing. We've had the game for a while. And... Haven't really had time to play it, but recently we uploaded two videos, working on a third one, which should be coming your way, I want to say every week or every other week. Um, so, stay tuned to that. They are longer videos, so they take a while to actually do. Um, I'm doing Pokemon Sword, as you guys are watching this, obviously. And I'm trying two to three times a week. And then in the background, we got Idle Heroes just kind of flooded throughout. And maybe some other videos in the near future. Anyways, getting right into this. Opal's Gym, the, um, I guess, challenge is you have to 
be two or three, I believe three trainers. I didn't read super carefully, but she'll be asking questions throughout each battle, which will either increase or decrease some stats. So anyways, now that the rules are covered, Corvusquire, I definitely overleveled my team. Uh, make sure to drink water, guys. It's really important. Um, we did evolve this guy not too long ago, and I'm kind of loving him, honestly. He's a good wall. He has decent moves. Question, do you know about Fairy-type weaknesses? So, Steel is super effective, right? But Poison is the correct answer. Which doesn't make any sense, because we, like, just used a Steel move. Special attack, doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, although Steel is correct, I don't think she wants to hear that. And, like, some of the questions don't really make any sense. Um... I was told, I didn't look this up, but I was kind of just run down real quick to say like, hey, make sure to remember this. So, that was pretty easy. Um, thankfully, Corviknight, finally I can call him Corviknight, um, has a steel move. And then he has a pretty strong flying type move. And then again, he has the Power Trip Hone Claws combo, which I love. Probably going to keep that on there the whole time I have him. Um, it kind of makes him somewhat situational, like I have to set him up to use that. But if I can set him up, you know, two Hone Claws, it's kind of ridiculous because that's plus four. Plus two is in um, attack. So, the move, uh, of course he misses, Cotton Spore. What does that do? Don't put us to sleep. Perfect. Speed harshly fell. I'm cool with that. What was the previous trainer's name? Aneta or Annette? I'm going with Annette. Correct, the previous trainer's name was Annette. Interesting speed. So, basically, we're just at a minus one. We're still faster. Take him right out. I've never been super huge on fairies. Not that I'm like against them because they're the newest type. But I just think that it's a really weird area to be in. Like they're, they kind of have their unique, um, I guess, branding to them. Because they're all like special attackers and kind of really quick, really strong. Um, some of them are bulky like this one. But for the most part, I don't know. I just feel like they're all kind of the same Pokemon. And I guess you could say that. Like dragons are normally OP. But like that's kind of, it's been the OG. Dragons are just always good. For the most part. I mean, Flapples, he's alright. I like how they did that, though. You know? They gave you a dragon early on. They totally changed it up. You know, he has two, I guess one evolution. He has two stages, which I don't recall a dragon. I know, like, Dredagon doesn't have an evolution. But again, they changed it up. And again, I just don't really like Fairy, so I don't really like this gym. More Grim. Really love this dude's final form. Um, although I think it's weird because I'm pretty sure he's like somewhat fast. And he doesn't really get the best support moves. But he is Prankster, which is kind of interesting. Um, I know he gets Will-O-Wisp. Probably Scary Face. I can't really think of him. But I was watching... Ooh, Curse. Fantastic move. Um, I will definitely get rid of Mean Look. But anyways, I was watching some... Um, what is the word? VGC? 
basically they play competitive um, stomp. Which one is stronger? That's cool with me. I'll go for strength. But I was watching some competitive Pokemon and one of the dudes that I was watching used him. And again, he's really cool. But I just think that he's built kind of weird. Let's see. Again, Caparaja and Corviknight? Kind of all that I need for this. I would assume that the gym is a little bit, or the gym leader, a little bit different. I don't know what she might have. Question, what do I eat for breakfast every morning? Um, I would say curry, but like again, that didn't make any sense. Um, I just know that curry is the only thing that you can make. Defense and special defense. We're about to take... Okay, I was like, we're about to take a hard hit. Um, and our attack harshly fell. Not looking too good. We still one shot. Very interesting. I always wonder, moves like that, like it says it's based on the um, weight of the Pokemon... But then it has a base attack. So I really don't know. Corvus, Corvin Knight. That's going to take me a minute to get used to. Corvin Knight's stats were looking fantastic from that. We should focus on the gym challenge. Yeah, we really should. Okay. There we go. That was our three trainers. Really easy so far. Like the, I guess the challenge itself took us maybe, what, four or five minutes? Not too bad. Um, I'm going to talk to this dude. Congratulations. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader? Um, the door's like right there. Why is this dude in the game? That doesn't make any sense. Sure. I guess. Are we just going to fight her? No, we, we have time to heal. I don't... That didn't make any sense. Um, anyways, moving on. Let's see. Potion. Homie's hurt. 9 HP. And Copperage is not hurt at all. This should be pretty clean. Um, I didn't really want to lead off with Corviknight. I like to save my super effective or just, you know, if I don't have anything super effective, just stronger Pokemon for later in the game and again Corviknight super super quick I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself but I'm Opal I've gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes the last part of the mission is me let me have a look at you and your partner Pokemon yeah what's up she's walking so slow come on still walking over there Who is she going to start off with? You're challenged by Challenger Opal. Weezing? Again, kind of forgot that this dude was a different type. I don't know what this dude's typing is at all. Um, I would assume fairy. And part of me wants to say something else. Still Weezing. Could be kind of scary. Again, I could always hone claws, make Steel Wing 100% accurate, and give it a power boost. What is he going to do? Fairy Wind should do nothing. Yeah. Question. Do you know my nickname? The Wizard. I'm picking it either way. You're correct. The Wizard just sounded cooler. Speed, Rose. Um, so the thing is, if we were to hone claws again, and then get another question right, which I guess we should have, because that didn't one shot. But if we were to get another question right, ah, uh, okay, never mind. I was just thinking theoretically, we could be plus eight, which would make Power Trip beyond powerful. Which, again, would be cool. Or if Copperaja got plus two speed, that wouldn't be bad. Mawile. Um, 
Homie is steel, so I don't really want to use steel wing. You can't use poison on him. Um, I guess he's super weak to fire. But we don't have any fire. So, screw it. Worst case, we can always just go for curse. I don't know how effective that would be, or if that would be the best play. Um, earthquake does, or er, wait, he doesn't have Earthquake, does he? He has some ground move. What, oh, Bulldoze, I think. Right? Yeah, Bulldoze. Body Press, maybe? Crunch, ooh. Wow, we, we took that pretty decent. Intimidate, are we gonna lower his attack? Oh, this could be really bad for us, because we're going to hit him. Then he'll hit us, and we'll just keep intimidating. Um, yeah, because we're about to get intimidated. Okay, um, if that does lower the attack stat of, like, body press, even though it says that it does more damage, what is my favorite color? Um, I really want to say pink because everything you own is pink and the background of your gym is pink. Yes, a nice deep purple. Defense, okay. So we can probably outlast this, but I was thinking, crunch, put us in a three shot before that. I mean, that drastically rose it. So anyways, we should be, what, minus two? Um, so we'll find out. For sure. If he lives, he doesn't. See that? I don't. I don't know. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Because we now we're minus three, but we had um, minus one. Took him down to half health. Minus two should have done. I don't know. 30% less, maybe maybe a little bit more. I think plus 1 is 1 1.5, and then plus 2 is 2 times. So, with that sense, it should be 50% of your buff. I really don't know. But anyways, if you guys know, please drop that down below. Um, I kind of didn't even see who she was sending in next, and I should have looked. That's the problem. We're trying to voice over. Toga kiss. Alright. Lucky for us, we have plenty of guys who are overleveled. This is more of an even match. Air slash. That'll do nothing. Don't flinch us. Perfect. Yeah, this... I may, might one shot. There we go. Togekiss, I want to say, is a light Pokemon. I mean, Togepi's tiny. Togetic is tiny. 2,000 XP. That's ridiculous. Okay. Al Creamy. Love this guy, honestly. Um, I think that this is her G-Max. I want to say. And if so, he looks like a giant cake. And I think that that is amazing. So, Corviknight should be able to take this. Yeah. My morning tea is finally kicked in. Alright. Surprised that you were not a coffee drinker, but at the same time, it makes sense. Starting to get old. You don't want to do that to your body. Max Steel Spike might even one shot. I do like the, it's like an open gym, and you can see trees and stuff in the background. Nice touch. For sure. I don't remember, like, Milo's, but that would have been decent, you know, to make it super green there. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh, I'm prepared, lady. Are you? I have two Steel-type Pokemon waiting for you. Giant cake. That's that. Sounded very interesting. Looks adorable, though. 
Max Steel Spike. Here we go. This is kind of a moment of truth. There we go. That gym was a breeze. Normally, though, there's like one gym, then like the fourth or fifth. That's super easy. Um, like without having to go out of your way to catch Pokemon. And uh, this one was definitely it. The last one wasn't too hard, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Your pink is still lacking. But you're an excellent gym challenger. So I guess that that was that for us. Super easy. And uh, it's kind of one of those things. Not bad. Oh, don't worry about it, child. It's just, I'll find the next gym challenger elsewhere. In fact, I got an idea. Too bad about the addition. Here's the fairy type gym badge. Why, thank you. There we go, guys. Hope that that was enjoyable for you. If you guys made it this far, you just watched 20, maybe 21 minutes of me playing Pokemon. So I greatly appreciate it. And you guys should subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel. There are so much of you that don't. And it would make it easier for you guys to see my videos. And that way you could make recommendations on my future videos. So please do. I'm always looking for a new game to play. And I'm always open to recommendations. So we received TM Fairy Kiss, which is a decent move. Um, did we already talk to this guy? Yes, we got the Love Ball. Everything is going smooth. Oh, quick cutscene. Hold on now. Yes. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me on this journey? If you're heading to the next gym, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Uh, yeah, we might as well. We'll follow her. But anyways, guys, we're heading into Hammerlock. We will catch you in the next one. I hope you guys do enjoy. Thank you for checking out the channel. And this has been a great experience. I will catch you in the next one. This is Two Point Show. Signing out. Peace.